So this question says, in a random sample of 200 cars of a particular model, three have a manufacturing defect. Okay, so three are defected and there are 200 cars. The next sentence says, at this rate, how many of 10,000 cars of the same model will have a manufacturing defect, right? So the uh, corresponding information here is, X defects out of 10,000 cars. So I used to call this a strategy that I used to label uh, this, um, how would I talk? I would say, I would call it um, this to that, right? It's like a comparison. We're comparing this information to that information, and we see that these, these uh, two units of information are related because we have the same units across both things. Anytime we have that scenario where we're comparing two different kind of snapshots of information, but regarding the same exact topic, we're going to create a proportion in order to solve. So I can solve this by saying, well, hey, the relationship I know is 3 to 200 if I use defects as my numerator and the number of cars as my denominator. And because we want to continue at that exact same rate, right, the rate isn't increasing, the rate isn't decreasing, we're saying that that ratio, this 3 to 200, should be equal to the ratio of some unknown number out of 10,000. A good example I like to use to help students understand where this is coming from is kind of like, you know, hourly pay, right? If I say, hey, you are going to make $25 per hour, and then I ask, well, how many dollars will you make if you work for 30 hours? You pretty much are setting up a scenario that looks very similar to this and say, well, my pay doesn't change. We're not, in, we're not in introducing overtime pay or anything like that. So really it's just, hey, whatever that first unit was, right, the $25 per hour, or for us in this case, the three defects per 200 cars, that ratio should be exactly equal to, right, in terms of ratios, at least it should be exactly equal to this ratio here when we scale up the number of cars from 200 to 10,000. So the way that we solve a proportion is by cross multiplication. So I'm going to multiply diagonally here, right? So 3 times 10,000, I get 30,000. Then I'm going to multiply diagonally here, 200 times x, right? So I get equals 200x. This is not the calculator section, so I have to do the math by hand here, right? So the 200 is gone there. My x is isolated. I want to figure out how many times 200 goes into 30,000. So one easy uh, simplification method is crossing out zeros. So every zero from the numerator can cross out one zero in the denominator. So I can quickly take care of two of those, which means I'm really left with 300 divided by two, which isn't too bad of math to do. I know that that is 150. So 150 equals X. If you don't immediately know that, you can always just you know do longhand here and say, hey, how many times does two go into 300? Well, it goes into three one time, right? Do the math, bring down the one, bring down the zero, two goes into 10, five times 10, zero, another zero and zero, so 150. So we know that we expect to have 150 cars with a defect out of the 10,000 cars that are manufactured.